it is 2023 and I swear that like, I don't know, a year and some change ago, I was standing right here in this same garage doing the same thing that we're about to do in this video. Why am I here and what are we doing? You may sense that Rich is a little annoyed, uh, rightfully so, because we just spent a lot of time networking this house uh, and I undid all of it. One does. Yeah, so I have, I have a small house and we decided that we should move my wife's desk into my office. Kind of got a, a dual uh, couples battle station thing going on. Uh, unfortunately, there's no room for a server rack. So the server rack has been moved and is now a laundry rack. However, I would like it to become a server rack. Once again. Yes. <laughs> Bring it to its full glory once again. So to do that, we're gonna move all my networking gear from a bookshelf, out of the bookshelf, under a desk, basically spread all over my office, to a server rack, you know, where you put server things. And it's gonna be here in the garage. But to do that, we need to run some fiber and some ethernet. So I would need Ethernet to go to my access point so we can have beautiful Wi-Fi everywhere. I need it to go to my wife's computer. Uh, I want to run an extra line just for future proofing because cable's cheap and I don't want to go to my attic again. Uh, and some fiber because we edit off of this machine in my office. And I don't want to give Adobe Premiere any more excuses for crashing. So we're going to go full speed. So we'll just know it's Premiere. Uh, with that, I think we should go over parts and the plan. What do you think? That's a good idea. Let's do it. Let's do it. Quite a few components for this job. We have a 12 port patch panel that uses keystone couplers to make cabling easy. Next, obviously, is the giant box of Cat6 riser cable. Riser cable is specifically for installing into walls of houses. The bag below the Ethernet cable is full of zip ties and mounting brackets that I'll be using to run the cable along the wall and also for cable management. The bright orange rectangles are media rings. These are placed in the holes we cut in the sheetrock and then affixed into place so we can mount the face plates with keystones. Next to those is a roll of Velcro for cable management and a nifty little container of RJ45 plug ends to terminate the ethernet with. Moving on, we've got my ethernet cable crimper, a pair of wire snips, a bag of six inch ethernet patch cables for the patch panel, a bunch of keystone ethernet couplers for the patch panel and faceplate, a few white keystone faceplates, and some multi-mode OM4 fiber patch cables. One is 50 feet for the run up to my office, one is seven feet for the patch panel, and the last is for my run up to the editing rig in the office. Three, two, one, go! Yeah. How entertaining do you want to make this? <laughs> <laughs> two guys set goes to the hospital. To make the run into the pipe chase, I need to drill through the sheetrock on the ceiling and into the subfloor on the second floor. I'm going to be using an auger bit with a really long shank to penetrate into that space. Have a hard time moving. <laughs> Is this supposed to do that? Yeah. Well, welcome to my attic. We have drilled a hole up here and we managed to get the fish stick all the way down to the garage. And now I'm waiting for Rich to tie some twine to it so that I can pull it up. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay. Woohoo, I almost lost it. Here I am trying to pull it and pull the fish stick. I apologize to our viewers of the subpar video quality. Here we go. Duct tape. Got it. Super secret unify hole. Physical security, it's the best part. So I might walk away with your access points. <laughs> and it's a cable. All right, John, so we just got done getting all the wires through the roof down to the wall. Mm -hmm. Now you are Reterminating your access point with the new wire. Yes. And uh, we're using, what are you doing? You're just gonna put a uh, end on it? Yeah. And what cable standard would you be using today? 
B. T five sixty eight B. What a pro. Oh. So we got three cables here, and we got some fiber, which I am not going to accidentally clip. So on the other side of the wall is our guest room, which eventually we're going to move my wife's desk that I am under uh, on the other side. So a little bit of future proofing here. I'm just going to leave this guy in here. And then when I want, I can cut a hole in the other side of the wall if I even decide to do that in the future. And for now, since we have two computers in here, we are going to cramp two cables. Squeeze them in there. And we are good to go. So, next thing we have mud box slash media ring, whatever you want to call it. And the great thing about this, it doesn't need to be right up against the stud. You don't have anything really to mess with. Just get everything through here. We're going to leave a spine in the wall in case we decide to pull even more cable down. So the hardware store only had this six port guy, which I definitely do not need six ports. We need three. So we got these nice little covers that can go over it. So then we got these couplers and they just snap in the same way like so and then we got z the fun stuff fiber coupler there we go that's what it looks like boom i wonder how this goes out slide maybe probably should slide it up right now Right, it's just wrapped around everything. Everything's wrapped around everything here. I don't matter which one's here now, which one's tied or something. Should label your cables. So now we are looking at my ONT, which has some awesome wiring. We're going to fix that today. Um, so currently, this is running up my house across the roof and just right through my wall in my bedroom. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right below it where I have this screwdriver <laughs> marking my hole and just go right into the switch. Let's get started. Today's episode of this old house. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give us a sub and a thumbs up. And if there's anything that we did that you disagree with, get down in those comments and let us know. Thank you so much to our YouTube members. You guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting us. If you'd like to support the channel, consider becoming a member or buy some swag. It all helps. Now that you've finished watching this, consider clicking on the, the thing here that we have somewhere. Let's say we're going to put it in the middle. It's going to be in the middle right here. Click this thing. Just click it. Click it. More. Click, click, click. Stop. Your robot.